Hello, my name is Sierra Pennell. I am a student at Grand Canyon University. Today, for my Bio 201 modeling project, I will be explaining the process of intramembranous ossification. Intramembranous ossification is a type of embryonic bone formation in which flat bones of the skull and face are formed from connective tissue. Okay, let's get started. The process begins with mesenchymal stem cells in a network of fibrous connective tissue. Mesenchymal stem cells begin to aggregate or cluster together and divide. At this point, the mesenchymal cells differentiate into osteoblasts, the cells that build new bone. This is considered the ossification center. The newly formed osteoblasts secrete osteoid, the uncalcified components of the bone matrix. For the bone matrix to be calcified, it requires the addition of calcium salts. When osteoblasts are surrounded by calcified bone matrix, they can differentiate further into osteocytes, housed in spaces called lacunae. As ossification continues, spicules form from the developing osteoblasts. These branch-like structures grow outwards from the ossification center. At this point, blood vessels begin to migrate into the area between spicules. The spicules continue to grow outwards from the ossification center and eventually touch each other, trapping the blood vessels within the developing bone. This is important for the development of mature bones because it will allow the bone to be vascular. Spicules and blood vessels continue to interconnect and the result is a layer of calcified spongy bone. Through bone remodeling, osteocytes on the outer edge of the spongy bone can cluster together in groups. These groups are called osteons, the building blocks of compact bone. Osteoblasts on the outer surface of compact bone can become less active, and with the help of connective tissue around the bone, a protective outer layer called the periosteum can be formed. In a different process of bone remodeling, a medullary cavity can take the place of the interlying spongy bone. This is where bone marrow and other important minerals can be stored. To review, bones created by intramembranous ossification are classified as flat bones, composed of a layer of spongy bone surrounded by a layer of compact bone. However, if a medullary cavity is present, this allows red or yellow marrow to be stored in the bone. And that about sums it up. Thank you for watching this presentation on intramembranous ossification.